Imagination is the beginning of creation. You imagine what you desire, you will what you imagine, and at last, you create what you will. The words of George Bernard Shaw. This takes us into Unit 1, Module 3, The Creative Solution Design. Ideation is a matter of generating, developing, and communicating ideas. However, it is a little more than this. Because if there isn't an environment for these ideas to come forth, then your ideas are basically useless. The environment is necessary for the ideas to be extracted, therefore consideration can be given. Creativity is the use of imagination or original ideas used in the creation of digital works. These two definitions takes us into the creative process. The creative process refers to a structured sequence employed to produce creative works. This typically involves three major processes. Perception, conception, and representation. The creative process provides us with a tool that helps to redefine problems that we are faced with. It allows persons to come up with novel solutions and then take actions on these new ideas. Let us break these three processes down a little smaller. Acceptance is a step within the creative process. It must be remembered that every opportunity provides situations that can educate and provide experiences to build on. Analysis is necessary because you are allowed to study the problem at hand and all of its components. Definition. The information accumulated should then be subjected to convergent and divergent thinking, which would help to clearly define the problem. Well, we looked at ideation before, and it must be known that ideation is a major part of the creative process. And in the quest for creativity and innovation, it is imperative that the accumulated information be considered. Selection. The realizations from the previous stages allows to form a possible solution. Implementation allows the product of creativity and innovation to be made a reality. It is also important to evaluate and ensure that the product solves the initial problem. The creative process can be implemented in a variety of ways. We would look at one school of thought that consists of a number of different implementation strategies. First one being linear. As the word suggests, one after the other, the preceding stage must be completed before moving to the next stage. What do we mean by this? Acceptance must be completed in entirety before we move on to analysis and then on to definition. Another method of implementation is called cyclic. The steps follow one after the other and when completed goes back to the beginning. So we go through acceptance analysis straight down to evaluation and then we go back to acceptance. Stepped with intermediate feedback loops allows for a little more flexibility. Since after each step, you can go back and make changes to the previous steps if needed, because we know in the real world, when you move on to perhaps evaluation, you would realize that something is wrong so you can go back and change immediately. The other method of implementation, a branched network. This simply means that persons can move back and forth along steps. So you can go from acceptance to analysis, back to acceptance to definition, so you can go in any direction. There are some key points that I would like you teachers and students to note. Remember that this is simply one way by which the creative process can be implemented and there are a number of ways available. Please 
Don't limit yourselves, explore. Because we live in a world that sees processes revolutionized on a daily basis, so change is always near in the field of technology. It is also necessary to remember, depending on the area of digital media you are working on, a different methodology would apply. So it is always important to find a methodology that is best suited to your particular situation. Let us now look at some pre-production skills and techniques that are necessary when solving problems. In reference to digital video and photography, pre-production refers to the task that must be completed before filming or shooting begins. This usually includes things such as storyboards, scouting for locations, as well as calculating the budget prior to production. All of these would ensure that there are less risk associated when production begins. These elements should always be considered during pre-production. Resources, such as budget, time, the resource personnel that are needed, facilities, and location. It is also necessary to get all clearances needed because you don't want to know when you arrive on the day of the location that you needed a particular permit before you can begin shooting. Copyright is always needed for any intellectual property and always follow the course of practices as regard to health and safety. We would now look at some of the factors affecting the creation of digital media content. The first one we would look at is called the rule of thirds. The basic principle behind the rule of thirds is to imagine breaking an image into thirds, both horizontally and vertically, so that you have nine parts. Composition is another area of consideration. Composition refers to the arrangement of the subject of the photo in contrast to its surroundings and point of view. Lighting is very important. The basic job of a photographer is to capture light on a still image. A photographer spends time fiddling with white balance, thinking about exposure, tone, contrast is basically all about trying to best capture the light we see that reflects back off our subject. Lighting is everything in photography. Psychology of colors is very important. It affects exactly how the consumer feels and views the content. There are four psychologically primary colors, namely red, blue, yellow, and green. They relate to the body, the mind, the emotions, and the essential balance between these three. Let us look at each of these individually. Red usually appeals to the physical and can invoke both positive and negative feelings. Positive, dwelling on physical courage, strength, or warmth, whereas negatively it suggests defiance, aggression, or even strain. Blue focuses on the intellectual. It evokes positivity in the sense of intelligence, communication, trust, and efficiency, whereas negatively it evokes coldness, lack of emotion, and unfriendliness. Yellow appeals strongly to the emotions. Again, on the positive side, it brings out optimism, confidence, and self-esteem. Whereas on the negative end, it evokes fear, emotional fragility, or even depression. Green focuses on balance. At the positive end of the spectrum, it suggests harmony, balance, 
refreshment, or universal love. Whereas at the negative end of the spectrum, it suggests boredom, stagnation, or blandness. Communication is a major part of our daily lives. And living in the digital era, it is necessary to communicate digitally. Digital communication is any communication that uses a digital device. Examples of digital communication include emailing, texting, faxing, video conferencing, or even live streaming. All of these are methods of communicating digitally. The ability to share content digitally is a major advantage of the digital age. Time is hardly ever a factor as far as communication and getting messages across. Let us look at digital storytelling, which is a major component of your exam, as well as part of your school-based assessment. Borrowing a definition from Leslie Rule, digital storytelling is the modern expression of the ancient art of storytelling. Digital stories derive their power by weaving images, music, narrative, and voice together, thereby giving deep dimension and vivid colors to characters, situations, experiences, and insights. Let us look at some of the major elements within a digital story. Just like a regular story, it is necessary to have a point of view. What is the main point of your story? And what is the perspective of the storyteller? A dramatic question also adds to your digital story. A key question that keeps the viewer's attention and will be answered by the end of the story. Emotional content is very important. Serious issues that come alive in a personal and powerful way and connects the audience to the story. The gift of your voice. The way to personalize the story to help the audience understand the context. And of course, the power of the soundtrack. Music or other songs that support and embellish the story. Economy. Using just enough content to tell the story without overloading the viewer. Pacing. The rhythm of the story and how slowly or quickly it progresses impacts on the effectiveness of the story. Some of the areas we looked at including the definition of the creative process, steps in the creative process, methods of implementing the creative process. We looked at ideation pre-production skills and techniques to possible solutions, and of course, communicating in the digital age. We also looked at digital storytelling and the components of it. Appropriating someone else's content as your own is not being creative without crediting the source. Creativity is your ability to find novel ways of getting things done. Creativity should make you explore the world to find new solutions. Now that you have new knowledge, apply this to create new solutions to the problem that exist in your world. In Trinidad and Tobago, in Jamaica, in St. Lucia, Guyana, Jamaica, throughout the Caribbean, it is best said as, don't thief. <laughs>